Hi, my name is Ms. De Leon, and today we are going to continue talking about solving one-step equations and inequalities. Our objective for today. After today, I will be able to solve and check one-step equations and inequalities using inverse property of multiplication and equality properties. And our language objective. After today, I will be able to identify and use reciprocals and equality properties to solve one-step inequalities and equations. So the main thing that we have to remember is that to solve equations and inequalities, we want to undo what is being done to the variable. In other words, we want to do the opposite operation of what's being done. If we are multiplying, then we want to divide, and if we are dividing our variable, then we want to multiply, um, to, we want to do multiplication to our variable. So let's do a few examples. And as I give you these examples, I want you to copy them down on your paper. Example number one, I have 2x equals 3. Right now, I am multiplying my variable by 2. I want to do the opposite of multiplying by 2, which is to divide by 2. So I start by drawing a line to separate the two sides of my equation. And now I divide both sides of my equation. Because remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Now 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with 1x equals and 3 divided by 2 is just 3 halves. But 1x is really just the same as saying x so I have x equals 3 halves. I can quickly check my answer to make sure that it's right by taking my original equation and substituting the 3 halves for my x. So if I do that, I have 2 parentheses, 3 halves, close parentheses, equals 3. And if I put that in my calculator, I quickly see that I get 3 equals 3, which is true. Therefore, my answer x equals 3 halves is correct. Let's do another example. I have x divided by 5, or equals 5. Right now, I am dividing my x by 5. So I want to do the opposite of dividing by 5, which is to multiply by 5. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to draw a line to separate the two sides of my equation. And now, since I'm going to multiply one side by 5, I also have to multiply my other side by 5 because math is always fair. And 5 divided by 5 is 1, so I'm left with 1x. And 5 times 5 gives me 25. So I'm left with 1x equals 25. And this is really just x equals 25 because... Um, writing an x by itself implies that there is a 1 in front of it. To check my work really fast, to make sure that this is my correct answer, I um, take my original equation and I substitute my 25 for my x. So I now have 25 divided by 5 equals 5. And when I divide my 25 by 5, I end up with 5 equals 5, which is true. Therefore, x equals 25 is the correct answer. We've been working with equations. Equations, again, have equal signs. Now let's try to work with some inequalities. The same rule, the same properties apply when you're working with inequalities. So we have two examples. And as I give you these examples, write them down and follow along as I talk. So we have 4x is less than 8. Right now, I am multiplying my x by 4. I want to do the opposite of multiplying by 4, which is to divide by 4. So I first draw my line to separate the two sides of my inequality. And now, since I'm going to divide one side by 4, I divide the other side by 4 as well. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I have 1x to the left. 
is less than and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I have 1x is less than 2, which is really just x is less than 2. But I'm not done yet. Um, I have to draw this. I have to graph it. So I'm going to draw myself a number line. Since x is less than 2, that means that the 2 is not included in my solutions. Therefore, I draw an open circle over the 2. And I want all the numbers that are less than 2. 1 is less than 2, 0 is less than 2, and so are all these negatives. So I'm going to shade to the left of my uh, 2, and I'm done. Let's do another example. I have x divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 1. Right now, I am dividing by 3. I want to do the opposite of dividing by 3, which is to multiply by 3. Um, but before I do that, I draw my line to separate the two sides of my inequality. And now, since I'm going to multiply one side by 3, I also multiply my other side by 3. Now, a 3 divided by a 3 is really 1. So I'm left with 1x on one side. It's greater than or equal to. My sign doesn't change. And 3 times 1 is 3. So I have 1x is greater than or equal to 3. Which is really just x is greater than or equal to 3. Because this x implies that there is an invisible one in front of it. So now, I draw myself a number line. Since I have x is greater than or equal to 3. The key part here is the or equal to part. I draw a solid circle over my 3. And I want all the numbers that are greater than 3. So 4 is greater than 3. 5 is greater than 3. I shade to my right. And now I'm done. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video. And if you haven't already, I want you to finish taking your notes.